Iran's rapid development of missile expertise has raised concerns in Washington and among its allies about Tehran's intentions. Despite international censure, the Revolutionary Guards have been able to develop the largest and most diverse ballistic missile arsenal in the region. Tehran is determined to develop and acquire ever more advanced and accurate ballistic missiles, but its efforts to achieve that goal are hampered by American and Israeli determination to subvert it. A key component of Iran's military doctrine is the development of an indigenous ballistic missile program, and the country's rapid development of missile expertise has raised concerns in the U.S. and among its allies. Iran embarked on an indigenous ballistic missile program in 1986, when the Revolutionary Guards created a self-sufficiency unit to develop military industries that would not require assistance from other countries. Headed by Gen. Hassan Tarani Magadam, the founding father of the Iranian missile program, the unit was essentially an R&D facility for missile technology. By reverse-engineering Soviet-era Scud technology, Tarani Magadam enabled the guards to develop the largest and most diverse ballistic missile arsenal in the region. It includes the Shahab-1, based on the Scud-B, the Shahab-3, based on original Scud-C technology, the Gadr-110 and its variants, the Emmet, the Shahab-4, the Shahab-5, Koser, the Shahab-6, Tokien, the Fajr-3, the Qayyum, the Ashara, and the Sejil. They are all capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Tarani Magadam died in November 2011 in an explosion in his research office at the al Ghadr missile base at Big Gannet, near Tehran, reportedly in an operation carried out by the Mossad. The Iranians continued advancing the missile program quietly, and produced new types of missiles, including the Desval, the Havazit, and the nuclear-capable Salfagur and Karamshir. Despite international concerns over Iran's ballistic missile program, the Obama administration decided to compromise with Tehran on that program in exchange for concessions on its nuclear program, which was a high-priority strategic concern for his administration. In a further compromise, Washington softened the language of UNSC Resolution 1929, 2010, which stipulated that Iran shall not undertake any activity related to ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons. Resolution 2231, which passed on July 20, 2015 and which endorsed the nuclear deal, used more permissive language, Iran is called upon not to undertake any activity related to ballistic missiles designed to be capable of delivering nuclear weapons. With the nuclear agreement reached and the legal loophole created, the Iranians set about putting more effort into their ballistic missile program. As a result, their missiles have become a target of renewed international attention, and consequently the subject of numerous rounds of sanctions. The Trump administration decided to withdraw the U.S. from the nuclear agreement in part on the grounds that it does not address Iran's ongoing ballistic missile program. Sanctions notwithstanding, Iran has not faltered in ramping up its ballistic missile and space programs. According to Brig. Gen. Amirali Hajizadeh, commander of the Revolutionary Guard's aerospace program, Iran conducted seven test flights in 2018, in addition to six Qaim missiles fired into an ISIS stronghold in Syria's Deir ez Zor province in January 2018. One Karamshir, two Shahab-3 variants, one Qayyum, and three Zalfagur ballistic missiles were flight-tested between February and August 2018, which, according to the President of the UN Security Council, was in violation of Resolution 2231, because the missiles were all categorized systems under the Missile Technology Control Regime, 
MTCR, and capable of carrying nuclear warheads. In August 2018, Iran's defense ministry unveiled two new missiles, the Faker and the Fatimabin, Bright Conqueror, the latest addition to the FATA series of short-range tactical ballistic missiles with a range of about 1,300 kilometers. On December 1, 2018, the Revolutionary Guards tested the Karamshir medium-range ballistic missile at its facility near Shard in Iran's northeast. On February 2, 2019, Tehran announced the successful test of the Havazik cruise missile with a range of over 1,350 kilometers during celebrations marking the 40th anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution. On February 7, the Revolutionary Guards unveiled a new ballistic missile, the Desval, which has a range of 1,000 kilometers. Iran's press quoted Gen. Hijizada is saying the Revolutionary Guards will continue missile tests and plan to carry out more than 50 missile tests each year.